And we're back. <laughs> All right. We're beating the shit out of uh, f- baseball fans. I almost said football fans. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, oh, it's football in Europe. I'm like, wait, that's soccer. <laughs> yeah. um, you can tell we're all about sports. Yeah. Welcome back to Sports Bomb. Play No More Heroes. Even though I've played football in high school. Yeah, true. I did not, because I played No More Heroes in high school. <laughs> we are in the ninth rank in the UAA, which is the United Assassins Association. Um, Can level. you know this already? Uh, yeah, well, if you're just tuning into this series for whatever reason. I mean, if you're just tuning into the third episode or fourth episode for some reason. Great. That guy's still alive. He's got a beam guitar, so he won't die in one hit. Yeah, he will. That was two hits. Yeah, but I missed him the first time. No, you didn't. You hit him. Really? Yeah, it flashed like it does when it hits him. Oh, okay. That's got a funkadelic but, music. <laughs> we're, at a, we're at a club. Wow. What's beyond that, or is there anything? Uh, this, uh, I think there might have been a card around that corner. I can't remember. Uh, who cares? Yeah, I'm not really worried about it. We're not in this for the cards. We're in this for your entertainment. Oh yeah, fucking die. Eventually as you get more power you can like kill like multiple people with one strike. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. yeah I don't know if we mentioned this like in the parts that we kept in, but uh you can get different weapons. Like you don't just keep this one thing that we're using now. This, yeah. is, this is literally the worst one in the game. It's still not bad. You can get through the whole game with that. Yeah, but it's not. But like the other ones are better because they offer more attack power and yeah. do more damage and stuff like that. And in the second game, they really get big with the customizing. Like one of them's big and slow, and the other ones then they have some sometimes they have two. Yeah. Mm, cool stuff like that. Oh man, I'm, I haven't seen this one in a long time. It's cool because you can just swipe in any direction. Yeah. Wait, am I going the right way? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, there we go. I was turned around. Oh. I don't know, I saw the hell and I was confused. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have it just before the last guy. <laughs> just <laughs> kicked him in the dick. Yeah, you can, like, kick them to stun them. Oh, get out of there. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's gonna do a super back kick, or super attack. Usually that stun pack um, uh, makes them makes that triggers a wrestling move. Yeah, I find it obscene that like these guys just because they have a beat katana, they're just slightly stronger than all the other guys who look exactly like them. Well, Pwah. he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some hills. Or wait, was that behind me or in front of me? That's uh, behind. Me. So I got it that way? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a thing over there. So I ran past all this. Yeah, that's why I got confused earlier, because I thought that was the right way to go, because there was help there. Boom. <laughs> he just got stuck on the wall. It happens. Oh, here's a phone call thing. <laughs> I don't remember from before. Um, from the very first episode? Yeah, from the first episode. Um, I think. No. Second. Yeah, no, I think it was the first episode. No, I don't think we got that far. Anyway, so yeah, she's talking to my Wiimote. But I'm not going to let you listen to that because it's garbly gook because my Wiimote is old as Christ. Yeah. Um, Next time we might have a better Wiimote. Yeah, it's possible. Um... Because so, I'm not sure if it's a Wiimote being old and like the, or it's just the Bluetooth connection getting interference or what, but it's just over time it's gotten gross and 
party, yeah. which sucks because it's really cool dialogue and like the ability to like put a Wiimote to your head and hear it like it's yeah. a phone call. Like that's the most genius way it was to like, use this. Yeah, thing. it was. Uh, it was like one of the first Wii games that actually like utilized the speaker in the Wiimote well. Yeah, you because usually it's like like in Smash Brothers, if you use the Wiimote, it, it's like it says your character or whatever. Like they like yeah, your yeah, character yeah. like makes a noise yeah. and stuff like that. But that's about it. Yeah, I don't really know any other Wii games that like utilize uh, the speaker. Well, Travis, you made some progress. I caught the podcast that said you're getting your edge back. Do you remember your second suplex? A terrifying trip to the moon, the reverse arm salt, MS. Uh, I never really figured out who is that guy. Like, uh, we have no idea. Oh, there's, it's just never mentioned. It's just some friend of his from okay. the past in Calgary, where he was a wrestler, I guess. Pizza. Oh, wait. I gotta save the game. Yeah, I should save the game first. Because uh, we don't want to game over and have to start all over again. Yes, that would be unfortunate. I don't remember if that's how it works, but just in case. I don't know. I, I've never lost. la <laughs> <Bloody> da <laughs> I'm sure you've lost. Uh, well, probably my first playthrough, but after that I never have. I don't actually remember what happens when you die. Or no, yeah, I do. You start, like, spitting out blood, and then he, like, goes stiff and falls. <laughs> Because uh, I remember this from playing the Bitter, which is the hard mode, and uh, fighting Shinobu, which is the boss after this. Um, also, um, sure, it's the one after this. Yep, she's the rank oh, eight. Okay. And um, and then uh, the there's another boss called Bad Girl, and she's tough too. Yeah, she's like number two, I think. Yeah, she's second ranked. So this is Doctor Peace. One of the best, or one of the better battles in this game. They're all amazing, but yeah. I mean. This this just wonderful. This man's singing voice too. Whoever the voice actor is, I can't remember his name. Um, he does a good job. Yeah, let's listen to it for a bit. Oh, it's wonderful. No more. Ugh. Wow. I guess cowboy look. Oh, that's so cool. Nice set of pipes you got there, old man. It has always been my dream to perform in a stadium such as this. A gentleman from the association told me I could have... He sounds like, um... The guy from uh, The Big Lebowski. Um... <laughs> The, the guy who's in all the like Chevy truck commercials. Yeah. <laughs> or Ford truck. I don't know. One of them. I love that camera movement too. That yeah. jitters towards them. Uh, I like that. Um, the organization only offered the money to him and not to Travis. Well, yeah, and that's the th that's the cool thing about this is like this is where Travis discovers that his rankings fights that he his entry fee that he had to pay to get into this fight goes to the guy he's fighting and like gets him what he wants because you're the one buying into the fight and he's not the one after you yeah and so um it's kind of cool um to think that you have to do that and so he's kind of discovering that this assassin's association is not really what it seems because uh he just had to pay like 150 thousand lbs to this random man that he's gonna fight and possibly murder Yes. He's got such a touching story about his daughter and how he cares about her, but she doesn't really know him. This game to me is like Shakespeare. Like the things they say to each other is so cool. Yeah. And like it's all really cryptic, and um, there's a lot of hidden meanings behind what they say. It's really cool. The writing in Suda 59 <coughs> games is actually quite it, yeah. spot on. <laughs> sometimes the gameplay isn't all there, but... Yeah, like, the game itself is a bit clunky sometimes, and, um, as with a lot of Suda games, but, um, the characterization and, um, yeah. the world they create are always just so unique and interesting. And pretty crazy and out there. Oh, totally. Like, there's nothing else that you're gonna find that's like this. Yeah. Other than other Suda games. Like, you gotta wonder where he comes up with this shit. <laughs> well, on that note, <laughs> we're gonna 
We're gonna save this fight till uh, next time on Turtle Bomb. Um, we're gonna take on Dr. Peace. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs>